Okay, I wanted to create a screen capture video to show you how to set up a Facebook ads campaign. On Tuesday of this week, November 6th, Facebook announced their Facebook ads platform, uh, which is uh, a service to allow businesses and individuals to promote either their business or a web page or their Facebook application through Facebook and to have access to Facebook's social graph. So I've been experimenting with it a little bit and it looks pretty interesting so I thought I'd create this screen capture video to show people how to set up a Facebook ads campaign. So the first thing you'll want to do is uh, at the bottom of the page in Facebook you'll see a link that says advertisers. If you click on advertisers it'll take you to this page which is the Facebook ads page and uh, what you'll do is just click get started and the first option you'll see is whether you want to promote a web page or if you have something on Facebook uh, that you want to promote like for example a Facebook pages page or a Facebook application uh, or it'll actually help you make a page in this example I'm going to show you how to promote a Facebook application so I'm going to choose pod class here uh, that's our application and um, then I'm going to click continue so here is where I can target specifically uh, who I want within Facebook uh, for my ad. So uh, it defaults to the United States. I can choose any country that is represented in Facebook. I can choose uh, by state, by city. I can choose gender, uh, age, and the keywords here. Uh, I can also uh, choose educational status. Uh, if I chose college grad, for example, I could then enter in, in a specific college, a major, uh, I can also do workplaces, which is interesting because I can target people who work at a specific company, for example. I can also char uh, target people uh, by their political views or relationship status. So uh, if you can notice here, there's 16 million people who are uh, age 18 and older in the U.S. in Facebook. So for this example, I'm going to create an ad on how to uh, play the bass guitar. So what I'm doing here and how I'm going to use uh, Facebook ads is I'm trying to attract people who have a particular skill or talent who might be interested in teaching that uh, on pod class. So this one will be playing bass. Okay, that's going to be our target audience here. And that's why I entered that in the keyword field. And if you notice up here, there's 8,280 people in Facebook who are 18 years or older in the United States who've entered playing bass as one of their interests uh, on their profile. So uh, again, I could further refine this if I wanted to or use a different keyword phrase, but for this example I'm going to stick to playing bass. Um, then I'm going to click on the continue button here and here's where I enter in my ad. So I've already written out uh, a title and a body and I'm just going to go ahead and, and paste it in here so that we can walk through this example. So that's my title and for the body, I'm going to just go ahead and type this in or paste it in. It says, get paid to play the bass, teach online bass lessons through pod class, and expose it to an entire community of bass guitar enthusiasts. Okay, now the next step is I'm going to upload a photo. And um, so let's see what we have here. So plain bass. Okay, so there's my ad, and this is what people are going to see. So teach bass lessons now, and there's the body copy, and if someone clicks on that, it'll go to the PodClass Facebook app, okay? Down here is an option that says add social actions to my ad. What that is, my understanding is that uh, this will, that uh, because it's going through Facebook ads, Facebook will now uh, not only announce to all the people's friends when they have added our application, which they'll do anyway, but I believe that any actions within uh, our application um, or any other actions for example if you're promoting a web page it would announce to all their friends that this person um, has um, uh, visited this particular web page so again it's another mechanism to reach into the social graph of Facebook by using the Facebook ads so I'm gonna click continue to go to the next step and um, here's where I can establish what my daily budget is this is a campaign that I already have set up I could set up a new campaign and change my daily budget um, and here's the schedule it runs continuously and here I'm choosing the option to pay for pay-per-click 
Okay, so in this example, I'm going to select uh, 15 cents per click. And the reason I want to up it is because I want to see if I can get uh, some data uh, quickly and evaluate the effectiveness of this. Um, you can go as low as a penny a click. And you can also choose the option of pay for views, uh, which is pretty interesting too, and that's something else that I'm going to experiment with. But for right now, I'm going to choose pay per click, 15 cents, and I'm going to click continue. Okay, so here is just a review of my ad. Here's the audience. It's uh, anyone 18 years or older in the United States who likes playing bass. And uh, social actions, when possible, Facebook will enhance your ad with social actions drawn from PodClass. That's our uh, Facebook application. Here's the campaign. Bid type is cost per click. Here's my bid amount, 15 cents per click. Daily budget is $10, and it's going to run continuously. And here I can change my ad if I wanted to. Uh, and if I hadn't already entered in my credit card information, here would have been a form that says enter in your credit card and billing information. So that's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and say place order. And then it goes to my ads. So this is uh, a kind of an overview of the different ad, of my ad campaign of my ads. That's the campaign. And I have, as if you can see, I have got one, two, I've got four different ads running currently. Okay. And, um, it looks like, uh, let's see, for the last 24 hours, okay, it looks like they're having some uh, problems with their stats because when I just did this a few minutes ago, it showed about 1,600 or so impressions for this particular ad, and now it's showing zero. So let me go to daily stats, um, week of November 4th, all, and see what that does. Okay, so there's 2,508 impressions on this, zero click-throughs. And this is for an ad that I put up yesterday. Okay, so this has a non-existent click-through rate. Uh, uh, so that means that that ad is not very effective so far. Uh, here's another ad that I placed a few moments ago, Teach Guitar Lessons Now. That hasn't gotten any activity. Uh, teach Photoshop and Earn. Teach Bass Lessons Now. Okay, so these are just examples of ads that I placed. Uh, these are the ads. I can look at Daily Stats. Um, and that shows for the 7th, uh, and that was for the, the broad ad that I placed in there. Um, so this gives you different information. This here is, is where you would choose to pause or delete. You can click on individual ads, and this will give you specific information about that particular ad. And, um, and that's about it. Uh, my one complaint at this point would be the inability to change the copy on your ad. Once you set up an ad, the only way to change it or change the targeting of your ad is to uh, delete it and start over from scratch. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, and that would be, again, my only complaint uh, with this system. Of course, um, it remains to be seen how effective it is. And a lot of it will depend on how effective your, your ad copy is as well and how effective your targeting is. So uh, that's how to use uh, Facebook ads. And um, we'll see how it works.